the human body may be conceptually divided into two major fluid compartments, the intracellular compartment and the extracellular compartment. The intracellular compartment is the space within the organism's cells. It is separated from the extracellular compartment by cell membrane. About two-thirds of the human body's water is held in its cells and the remainder is found in the extracellular compartment. The extracellular fluids may be divided into three types, interstitial fluid in the interstitial compartment, blood plasma in the intravascular compartment, and small amounts of transcellular fluids such as ocular and cerebrospinal fluids in the transcellular compartment. The interstitial and intravascular compartments readily exchange water and solutes but the third extracellular compartment, the transcellular, is thought of as separate from the other two and not in dynamic equilibrium with them. Intracellular compartment, intracellular fluid is contained by the cell's plasma membrane, and is the matrix in which cellular organelles are suspended, and chemical reactions take place. In humans, the intracellular compartment contains on average about 28 liters of fluid, and under ordinary circumstances remains in osmotic equilibrium. It contains moderate quantities of magnesium and sulfate ions. Extracellular compartment, the interstitial, intravascular and transcellular compartments comprise the extracellular compartment. Equals interstitial compartment equals, the interstitial compartment surrounds tissue cells. It is filled with interstitial fluid. Interstitial fluid provides the immediate microenvironment that allows for movement of ions, proteins and nutrients across the cell barrier. This fluid is not static, but is continually being refreshed and recollected by lymphatic channels. In the average male human body, the interstitial space has approximately 10.5 liters of fluid. Equals intravascular compartment equals, the main intravascular fluid in mammals is blood, a complex fluid with elements of a suspension, colloid and solutes. The average volume of plasma in the average male is approximately 3.5 liters. The volume of the intravascular compartment is regulated in part by hydrostatic pressure gradients, and by reabsorption by the kidneys. Equals transcellular compartment equals, the third extracellular compartment, the transcellular, consists of those spaces in the body where fluid does not normally collect in larger amounts, or where any significant fluid collection is physiologically non-functional. Examples of transcellular spaces include the eye, the central nervous system, and the peritoneal and pleural cavities. A small amount of fluid does exist normally in such spaces. Fluid shift, fluid shifts occur when the body's fluids move between the fluid compartments. Physiologically, this occurs by a combination of hydrostatic pressure gradients and osmotic pressure gradients. Water will move from one space into the next passively across a semi-permeable membrane until the hydrostatic and osmotic pressure gradients balance each other. Many medical conditions can cause fluid shifts. When fluid moves out of the intravascular compartment, blood pressure can drop to dangerously low levels, endangering critical organs such as the brain, heart and kidneys. When it shifts out of the cells, cellular processes slow down or cease from intracellular dehydration. When excessive fluid accumulates in the interstitial space, edema develops. And fluid shifts into the brain cells can cause increased cranial pressure. Fluid shifts may be compensated by fluid replacement or diuretics. Equals third spacing equals, third spacing is the unusual accumulation of fluid in a transcellular space. In medicine, the term is most commonly used with regard to burns, but also can refer to ascites and pleural effusions. With regard to severe burns, fluids may pool on the burn site and cause depletion of the fluids. With pancreatitis or ileus, fluids may leak out into the peritoneal cavity, also causing depletion of the intracellular, interstitial or vascular compartments. Patients who undergo long Difficult operations in large surgical fields can collect third space fluids and become intravascularly depleted despite large volumes of intravenous fluid and blood replacement. The actual volume of fluid in a patient's third space is difficult to accurately quantify. Third spacing conditions may include peritonitis, pyomtritis, and pleural effusions. See also, volume of distribution. References 
Rodney A. Roadies. David Abel. Medical Physiology, Principles for Clinical Medicine. Lippincott Williams and Wilkins Pages 5 Euro 6. ISBN 978-1-60913-427-3. Jacob M., Chapel D., Real M. The Third Space, Fact or Fiction? Best Prat Res Clin and Eastsel 23, 145 Euro 57. PMID 19653435. W. Caput, R. Macy, E. Misami, The Physiology Coloring Book 2nd ed. PG 1 7. Addison Longman, Inc. San Francisco, 2000. Barbara Kuhn Timby. Fundamental Nursing Skills and Concepts. Lippincott Williams and Wilkins, pages 319 a Euro. ISBN 978-0-7817-7909-8. Retrieved June 9, 2010. Redden M., Watton K. Third Space Fluid Shift in Elderly Patients Undergoing Gastrointestinal Surgery, Part 1, Pathophysiological Mechanisms. Content Nurse 12, 275 a Euro 83. PMID 12219956. Drain, Cecil B. Perry Anesthesia Nursing, A Critical Care Approach. Philadelphia, W. B. Saunders Company. ISBN 0 7216 9257 5. 1. Fluid and Electrolyte Therapy. Retrieved June 8, 2010.